We're happy to announce uh, the creation of the Knoxville Hol Holston's Vintage Baseball Club. It's an expansion team uh, new to East Tennessee in 2014 of the Tennessee Association of Vintage Baseball. And we're recreating Civil War era baseball, playing by the rule book of 1864. And uh, we're reenacting one of Knoxville's early teams, uh, the Knoxville Holstons, uh, which began playing baseball, we believe, in 1867 in Knoxville. So it's going to be a great time uh, to come out and enjoy the game, see how it's changed over time, learn about the history of the game, but also to look at a portion of of East Tennessee's history uh, through the lens of sport uh, during a time when we usually don't think about sports. Uh, what was baseball like in 1864? Well, I think if people come out uh, today to see one of the vintage baseball games, uh, the fans, or as it was called back then, the cranks, uh, will notice a few things that are a little bit different. First, the vocabulary. Uh, there's some different words that uh, uh, were put into play and were used by the players. A couple of my favorite, when you're encouraging a teammate to run fast, you'd say stir your stumps. Or if you uh, encouraged a player uh, to show a little uh, more uh, wit or smartness about their play, you'd ask them to show a little bit more ginger. The thing that people will readily notice is a couple of the rule differences. Uh, pitching is underhand. It's a very offense-minded game. Uh, the, pitch, the pitcher or hurler uh, throws a deliverable ball that's meant to be hit. Uh, uh, but the big uh, thing that people are going to readily notice is it's barehanded baseball, no gloves. And one of the rules that helps uh, sort of save our hands a little bit is we are playing by the 1864 rule book, and that provided uh, the opportunity to catch the ball on the bound. So if the ball hits the ground, pops up, and it's caught, the runner uh, is out. So that's a little uh, different twist there uh, from our modern game.